Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this confetti effect to your WordPress website. So let's get started. Right here, I have logged into my WordPress dashboard and for running this WordPress website locally, I'm using this uh, software called Local by Flywheel. So you can just download this for free from Google and just go over here and click on add new site and create a new WordPress website and then you can just go ahead and click on WP admin and then log into the site and here I have logged into my WordPress dashboard so let's go ahead and add this effect inside a post so here inside post let's click on add new post and here you can add a title I'll just type congratulations and then here you can add all the content you need to add and once you want to add this effect you can go ahead and create a custom html block so you can just click on this plus icon or you can just simply type forward slash and type custom html and select it and now we can see that we have the option of writing the html so here we can add html css and javascript code so let's go to our source code and i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so this is the HTML file and we need to copy all this HTML from here. So this is the button and uh, this is the CDN link of uh, the confetti.js library. And this is the JavaScript code that creates the confetti effect. So let's copy all this code from here till here. And uh, let's paste it over here. And now we also need to add this uh, CSS for this button. So if you go to the style CSS file, here we can see we have the CSS so let's copy this CSS of fire button from here and let's add it over here so I'll just create a style tag for the CSS so let's create a style tag and uh, here in this style tag we will add the CSS well, now if we go back to our uh, HTML file here we can see that this is the code that fires the confetti and uh, here we have this confetti effect so we have two confettis over here so if I click on click me we have the confetti from here and the other confetti from here so that's why we have these two confettis uh, displayed over here now there are different options you can change over here so we have particle count spread origin and things like that now if you go to the official website of confetti.js we have a lot more options over there so i'll just show you the website so you can just google for confetti.js and you'll find this website called confetti.js.org so let's go to the website and here we have the demo displayed over here so let's go to more examples and here we have all these examples so this is the first example which we are using in our design so if we click on run this is the confetti so we are adding two confettis over here in our design now if you scroll down we have different options over here we have random direction so every time we run it goes into a random direction and then we have different options so we have realistic look so all these options over here so you can go ahead and copy any of this code and add it to your design so we have star effect emojis and unicorns and all these things over here so you can go ahead and experiment with these a different code and you can copy this code to your design and just go ahead and change the values to your needs so once you're done all of that you can just go ahead and uh, click on publish and uh, click on publish once again and now we can see that the page was published so let's click on this congratulations post and here we have this click me button and if i click on that we have the confetti displayed over here now the styling of the click me button is not correct so here we can see we have this green color but here we have a different color so that's because of the theme so if we go over here to the html here we can see that this is a button and for the button we have some styles added by the theme so if you go to inspect here we can see for the background color we have this color set by the theme itself so let's go ahead and add an anchor tag over here instead of the button and let's click on update and now let's go back and now we can see that we have the correct styling for the button and if i click on the button we have the confetti displayed so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add this confetti effect to your wordpress website i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the design video in the description. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.